There's nothing quite like the satisfaction of harvesting your own food and sweet potatoes are no exception. Imagine the taste of a freshly dug sweet potato still warm from the sun, transformed into a delicious pie or a comforting roast. Growing your own sweet potatoes is easier than you might think. These resilient vegetables thrive in warm climates and with a little care, even novice gardeners can enjoy a bountiful harvest. From the moment you plant your slips to the day you unearth your sweet potatoes, you'll be participating in a rewarding process that connects you to the earth and the food you eat. So, let's get started on this fulfilling journey together. Before we delve into the practicalities of planting, let's gather our gardening essentials. Having the right tools and materials on hand will make the process smoother and more enjoyable. You won't need any fancy equipment, just a few basic tools to get started. A good set of gardening gloves can protect your hands from thorns and rough soil. Pruners are handy for trimming any unwanted growth. A sunny spot in your garden is crucial. Sweet potatoes love sunshine. Choose a location that receives at least six hours of direct sunlight each day. The more sunlight, the better your sweet potatoes will grow. Well-drained soil is another key factor. Sweet potatoes prefer loose, well-drained soil. Adding compost or other organic matter can help improve drainage and fertility. This will ensure that your plants have the nutrients they need to thrive. Sweet potato slips are essential. These are small rooted shoots that will grow into mature sweet potato plants. You can purchase slips online or from a local nursery. Make sure they are healthy and free from any signs of disease. A garden trowel or spade is necessary for digging holes for your sweet potato slips. These tools will help you plant your slips at the right depth, ensuring they have enough space to grow. A watering can or hose is essential for keeping the soil moist, especially during dry spells. Consistent watering is crucial for the growth of your sweet potatoes. Make sure the soil is evenly moist but not waterlogged. Mulch is a great addition to your garden. Applying a layer of mulch around your plants helps retain moisture, suppress weeds, and regulate soil temperature. This will create a more stable environment for your sweet potatoes to grow. Finally, keep your tools organized and in good condition. Store them in a dry place to prevent rust and damage. Regular maintenance will ensure they last for many gardening seasons to come. The foundation of successful sweet potato growing lies in proper soil preparation. Sweet potatoes thrive in loose, well-drained soil. Follow these steps to create the ideal environment for your sweet potato patch. Choose a sunny spot. Select an area in your garden that receives at least six hours of direct sunlight daily. Clear the area. Remove any existing weeds, grass, or debris from the planting site. Loosen the soil. Use a garden fork or tiller to loosen the soil to a depth of about 12 inches. Amend the soil. Mix in a generous amount of compost or well-rotted manure to improve drainage and fertility. Form raised beds, optional. If your soil is heavy clay or drains poorly, consider creating raised beds. This will improve drainage and provide better aeration for your sweet potato roots. Now that you've prepared the perfect patch, it's time to introduce the stars of the show, your sweet potato slips. These little plants are the key to a bountiful harvest, and with a bit of care, they'll reward you with delicious, nutritious tubers. Timing is key. Sweet potatoes are warm season crops, so wait until after the last frost has passed and the soil has warmed to at least 65 degrees Fahrenheit before planting. This ensures that the slips have the best possible start and aren't damaged by cold temperatures. You can use a soil thermometer to check the temperature, ensuring it's just right for planting. Spacing matters. Plant your slips 12 to 18 inches apart in rows that are 3 to 4 feet apart. This spacing is crucial because it allows each plant enough room to grow without competing for nutrients and sunlight. Proper spacing also helps in managing the vines and makes it easier to care for the plants as they grow. This spacing allows ample room for the vines to spread and the roots to develop. Sweet potato vines can grow quite long, and giving them enough space ensures they don't crowd each other which can lead to healthier plants and a better yield, digging the holes. Use your trowel to dig holes that are slightly deeper than the length of the slip's roots. This extra depth helps the slips to establish a strong root system, which is essential for the plant's growth and the development of the sweet potatoes. Planting the slips. Gently place a slip into each hole, ensuring that the roots are pointing downward. Be careful not to damage the delicate roots as you plant them. Firm the soil around the base of the slip to provide support and stability. Watering in. 
water the slips thoroughly after planting to help settle the soil and encourage root establishment. Consistent moisture is important in the early stages, so keep the soil evenly moist but not waterlogged. This initial watering helps the slips to adapt to their new environment and start growing vigorously. Section 5. Nurturing Your Sweet Potato Vines With your sweet potato slips safely tucked into the ground, it's time to shift our attention to providing the care and attention they need to thrive. Consistent watering is crucial for their growth and development. Sweet potatoes need regular watering, especially during dry periods. Ensuring they receive enough water will help them develop strong roots and healthy vines. Aim to keep the soil consistently moist but not waterlogged. Overwatering can lead to root rot, while underwatering can stunt their growth. Weed control is essential to maintain a healthy garden. Weeds compete with your sweet potato plants for nutrients, water, and sunlight. Regularly removing weeds will ensure your sweet potatoes have the resources they need to flourish. Keep the area around your plants weed-free by hand-pulling or using a hoe. This will also help improve soil aeration. Fertilize with care to provide the necessary nutrients. Sweet potatoes are light feeders, meaning they don't require heavy fertilization. However, they do benefit from a little extra nourishment. A side dressing of compost or balanced fertilizer midway through the growing season is usually sufficient. This will provide them with the essential nutrients they need to grow robustly. Vine training is optional but can be beneficial. As your sweet potato vines grow, you can train them to climb a trellis or other support structure. This practice can help save space in your garden and make it easier to manage the plants. Training the vines to climb can also improve air circulation around the plants, reducing the risk of fungal diseases and promoting healthier growth overall. By following these steps, you'll be well on your way to a bountiful sweet potato harvest. Section 6. Recognizing Pests and Diseases While sweet potatoes are relatively pest and disease resistant, it's wise to be aware of potential issues that could arise. Keep an eye out for pests. Common garden pests such as slugs, snails, and aphids can occasionally bother sweet potato plants. Hand-picking pests or using insecticidal soap can help control infestations. Be vigilant for diseases. While not as common as pest problems, sweet potatoes can be susceptible to fungal diseases especially in humid conditions. Ensure good air circulation around plants and avoid overhead watering to help prevent fungal growth. Early detection is key. Regularly inspect your plants for any signs of pests or diseases. Early detection and intervention can often prevent minor issues from escalating into major problems. Section 7. The Bounty of Harvest Time As the days grow shorter and the air turns crisp, it's a sure sign that your sweet potatoes are nearing their peak of ripeness. Timing is everything. Sweet potatoes are typically ready for harvest about 90 to 120 days after planting, or when the leaves start to yellow and die back. Test for doneness. To check if your sweet potatoes are ready, carefully dig around a few plants and examine the tubers. They should be firm and have a rich color. Don't delay harvest. Once the vines have died back, the sweet potatoes are susceptible to rotting in the ground, especially if the weather turns wet. Section 8. Unearthing Your Sweet Potato Treasure Harvesting your sweet potatoes is a rewarding experience that culminates all your hard work and dedication. Choose a dry day for harvest. Harvesting sweet potatoes on a dry day will help prevent soil from clinging to the tubers. Loosen the soil. Use a garden fork or spade to carefully loosen the soil around the base of the plants. Gently lift the potatoes. Once the soil is loosened, Carefully lift the sweet potatoes from the ground, handling them gently to avoid bruising. Remove excess soil. Gently brush off any loose soil from the sweet potatoes. Avoid washing them until just before use. Section 9. Common Sweet Potato Growing Errors Even experienced gardeners can make mistakes and growing sweet potatoes is no exception. Let's take a look at some common pitfalls and how to avoid them. Planting too early. Sweet potatoes are warm season crops and need warm soil to thrive. Planting too early in cold wet soil can lead to rotting and poor growth, overwatering. While sweet potatoes need consistent moisture, overwatering can suffocate the roots and make the plants susceptible to diseases. Harvesting too late, leaving sweet potatoes in the ground too long after the vines have died back can increase the risk of rotting, especially in wet conditions. Section 10. Savoring the fruits of your labor. With your harvest complete, it's time to relish the fruits of your labor. 
Freshly dug sweet potatoes are incredibly versatile and can be enjoyed in countless ways. Roast them to perfection. Roasting sweet potatoes brings out their natural sweetness and creates a tender caramelized texture. Bake them into a pie. Sweet potato pie is a classic dessert that's perfect for any occasion. Use them in savory dishes. Sweet potatoes add a touch of sweetness and creaminess to soups, stews, and curries. Section 11, a final word from Monty. There you have it. Growing your own sweet potatoes is a rewarding experience that's well worth the effort. By following these simple tips, even novice gardeners can enjoy a bountiful harvest of these delicious and nutritious tubers. So, go forth and experience the joy of growing your own sweet potatoes, you won't regret it.